you mentioned the significance of hip hop culture uh, in the talk earlier. When did you know that hip hop was your path? Our path? Oh, we knew early. Like we said, when we saw um, those movies and all that, and then just walking around, growing up, it was in our, it was embedded in our culture. Our older brothers and sisters and our friends around the area, everybody was in it they, they, that was older than us. They were b-boys already, and we just were too young. So as soon as we got to a, enough a, a age that was old enough to get out there and spark our pumas up and start rocking BBDs and, yeah. and getting into the culture, we, 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 just, we just dove right into it because it was there. And, the, and the, yeah, and it was really there because we're from New Jersey and the birthplace of hip hop is in New York City. So we're 20, 30 minutes away just across the river and we're in the heart of it. So yeah, at a very early age. I remember lacing up fat sneakers at uh, sixth grade and I was 11 years old, so. And then in those adolescent years, how important is that? How, is, how important was hip hop in, in kind of develop, developing you as a person? Very well, important. Well, and for me personally, it was like, you know, there was Pop Warner, Little League Baseball, Little League Football and stuff like that, gymnastics. I remember a lot of my friends, their parents could afford it, and I was the youngest of seven. My mother simply couldn't afford those extracurricular activities. So for me, hip hop and break dancing, it was free, you know? I just got with my friends and go out there and get the cardboard and the linoleum, and it was free. It was free recreation for me. So that's what helped me, you know, uh, be creative, and it definitely helped, you know, me develop as, as a person because these older guys would take me to different neighborhoods, and I had to respect other people. Right. Same with me. It's just like I kind of like slipped through the cracks. It's like I had an older brother playing sports and all that, and then I had younger siblings as well. So my mother, you know, he's playing sports, you focus up there, and then you focus at the bottom, and then the middle kids kind of always slip through the cracks. So all that time going on, hip hop was right there, and I was just focused in, focusing in on hip hop, really. And so as you came together as a group, what was the ambition? Was there any ambition at that point? Yeah, the ambition was, you know, we all come from very humble beginnings, you know, we didn't have a lot. And at the time, once we realized we had a talent, we realized that we could elevate our families, you know, we could do stuff to help take care of, for one, ourselves and our families. And then we started identifying a future for ourselves. So, yeah, hip hop gave all of that to us. And it made us, you know, start organizing and attaining goals. So we got together, like, high school, junior high school, so we already knew that, man, we want to graduate high school because our parents wouldn't let us do what we wanted to do unless we did the basics. So it definitely put us on a path of learning to accomplish goals. And I heard Sway mention um, that over the years, over the decades, certain elements of hip hop has gotten lost that, that were quite instrumental back in the day. So what to you were those elements that, that maybe now hip hop doesn't have anymore? Well, back at home, one of the elements that's starting to get lost is breakdancing. Okay. Back at home in the States, you know, I mean, that's one of the things that I personally, like, realized and started understanding this like that, and that art, that, that form is a little bit lost. And I mean, they tried to do it, also with graffiti a little bit as well, because, you know, the, the, the way that they used to do it on the buildings and do it on the trains, they shut that down a lot now. So it's become, a, a, you know, a little bit more I guess commercialized, where people got to turn it more into regular art now, where it's not the same way that we came up of knowing it, but. Yeah, it was vandalism when we <laughs> came up. Right. We, now, now you have graffiti artists in, in art galleries. Right, know? right. Which is cool, though. Which yeah. is cool, though, because it's still there, but this, those, those two forms are like a slightly, you know, under, you know, where the MC and the, and the DJing and all that is at its all time high. But in, in terms of music then as well, uh, with, with uh, hip hop becoming very much mainstream and, and you were kind of at the forefront winning the Grammy, uh, I, I believe as the first hip hop act, so how have you seen this development of hip hop over the years? Is it, is it a positive, positive one uh, in your eyes? Oh yeah, I, I definitely think so because again, 
corporate America has their both hands in it, you know? It's just like last night, I just showed them a clip, uh, NFL Thursday Night Football, they had a whole thing on us, you know? It was like one team represent, Naughty by Nature represented the New York Jets, and then the Google Dolls represented the other team. So they were asking the panels, well, who are you rooting for? You rooting for Naughty by Nature or the Google Dolls? So they mentioned all of our songs, sang our choruses, and the Jets won, so we won last night. But when you have corporate America, you know, embracing hip hop as such, you know that it's definitely evolved to a place where there's no return. It's entrenched and it is world culture now. Final question then. Uh, you also mentioned that you were blessed to be able to do this and you have had your fair share of ups and downs along the way. What do you attribute your longevity to? The struggle. I mean, if, if, if nothing's given to you, you know, then you you really, really embrace it and you can you can really, you know, love it or, or really just understand what it what it took to get there but if something's handed to you you don't understand it because you think it was so easy so the fact that we had to work so hard for it I mean, we just we, we we take it as a blessing and we definitely understand it and we definitely love the struggle and we love what we had at this point and we can respect it yeah and and i think most important is you know we put this together ourselves we were like teenagers and we put together although we didn't realize it we formed our own corporation as kids, you know, kids. So it came from an honest place. We built an international brand and an international corporation as teenagers. So now that we're this old, we realize what we've done. And we're like, wow, we don't have to punch a clock and do a nine to five, then shit, we're on par with McDonald's. Exactly. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much. All right.